You know, Frank Smith did a great job. I think tournament time, we've talked about this a lot, this is how we won the Peach Belt Tournament. It's all about making a team beat you from the outside. Uh, you don't want them to beat you at the free throw line. You don't want, you don't want them to beat you on the inside. And Frank Smith did a phenomenal job. They said Landers going to have to beat us from the outside today. And, you know, we have our worst shooting night of the season. We've got 2 of 25 from 3. So some of that's Francis Marion, some of that's us. Uh, we've talked all week about uh, what we've been calling a championship hangover. We, we've just been you – know, and I don't, I don't want to make an excuse. There's certainly no excuse, but I think our team was a little bit drained. I think it's hard when you win a tournament championship. Uh, you play the late game Saturday, the 8.30 game. You're eating dinner at midnight. You come back, you play it. Your game four, you goes into double overtime. So we're getting home, going to bed at two and three on Sunday night. And there's some things I would do differently. Looking at it again, uh, I probably would give them an extra day of rest and really just go one or two practices this week because I think they need it. Uh, in their defense, they were emotionally drained, they were mentally drained, they were physically drained. We've had low numbers all season. Uh, we've been asking a lot of these kids. They've given us everything they could. Um, so uh, you know, I feel like I could have done a better job there with, with how we manage them. Um, and I thought it was just kind of hung over. We just we didn't have great practices until really yesterday was the first one we had that, that was decent. Um, but yes, yeah, that's one thing you'll speculate. We're just we're not. We're I think we're the second best three point shooting team in the Peach Belt. So for us to go two or twenty five, whether that's nerves, whether that's fatigue, whether it's just mental exhaustion over the course of the week, you know I guess we'll never know. But at the end of the day, I told these kids we're, we're extremely proud. I'm proud to be the coach of this team. I'm proud of what they did this year with winning the regular season title, winning the tournament title. Winning 13 games at the end of the year is extremely hard to do. Um, and Frank Samaritan just came out and, and made one more play than we did. They did a great job. Those kids played really hard. And we certainly wish them the best moving forward. All right, now we'll open up the floor for questions. Please give us your name, your media outlet, and who your question is directed toward. Coach Chris Bergman. Sorry, Chris Bergen, Sports Radio, the fan in Florence. You referenced the uh, three-point shooting, two of 25. Was that too many? If you had to script how many three-pointers you'd like to take in a game like this, was that too many, too few? How did you see that playing out? Uh, I was. I, I certainly have no problem with the number of attempts. We, we've had that before. Our, our offense philosophy is based on take what they give you. And they were <laughs> clearly giving us the three out there. Uh, I thought you saw Brashe Johnson make an excellent adjustment in the second half. We knew they were going to double down on her. And she, that's a tough read. you got to make that quick read. When do I attack? When do I kick it out? And she did a very good job of making the right decisions almost every time down the stretch of when to attack and when to kick it out. Uh, so it's just we tell them all the time, we, have, we talk about it all the time in our program, don't cram a square peg into a round hole. And so if they're going to give you the three, it doesn't make sense to sit there and just keep driving and driving. Uh, we do it again. I have a lot of confidence in these players. They're fantastic shooters. Uh, and, you know, we just, you know, it's not often that Ty Reynolds is going to go 0 of 5 from 3, Ashley 1 of 7, Chrome 1 of 7. Um, you know, Malia, 3 points the shot's not a big part of her game. She goes 0 of 3. Sania Johnson, our leading 3 point shooter, goes 0 of 2. So, you know, I, I would roll the dice. If you say, hey, it's going to come down to a one point game and we're going to give you 25 threes, if you make three of them, you're going to win the game. I, I, I would have gone with that every day. <laughs> Andrew Mackey with the Index Journal in Greenwood. Um, you know, we talked earlier this week about rebounding, um, how that was going to be key for you guys, and they they beat you on the glass. You know, what how big of an impact did that have? Yeah, and they do such a good job. They go with that five out offense, and they crash. We tried to simulate that in practice. That was one of the things we did not get nearly the work getting ready for them, and we would have liked to this week because we just struggled with a few things that that kind of held our practices up. And there's a coach who's stuck with the choice, okay, do we go for three hours and really wear these kids out just to get across what we want to do? So like I said, that was one of those things where that, that, that hangover got to us a little bit in regards to not being able to do the things we wanted to to prepare. Uh, but it's a, at halftime, it's a one margin either way. They got five, we've got four. Uh, and, and they come out in the second half, and I think beat us by eight offensive boards or something like that in the second half. And there was a stretch where there's some really big offensive boards on their end that, that, that hurt us. Uh, and that that was that was a big part of why we lost that down the stretch. So, but at the same time, that's a decision we make. You know, our, our philosophy is: give me small, give me fast, give me offense. That's what we recruit. I know we're not the biggest team out there, uh, so I kind of put them in that position. It, it's not their fault for, for being the smallest team on the floor. If we can control the tempo, get the game going up and down, it's going to help us. We didn't do a great job of that today. Um, and and Francis Mary did a nice job of, of coming against some of those big boards down the stretch that really separated the game. Um, Mark Hazel with the morning news in Florence. Obviously, you still have statistically, you still have a very solid day. You put up 20 points, but did they make 
make it more difficult on you in any way than they did in the first two games that you faced them this year? And if so, how how do you how did they? Um, I think they made their adjustments this game. Um, dating back to um, the two games we played before, um, they played more aggressive man. So I was able to just beat my man one on one. Um, this game, they it was like help the helper. So if I blew past one person, they had the next person stepping in. So that definitely made it harder. Um, I mean, they did a great job at doing that, but at the end of the day, big time plays make big time plays. You know, Coach, the uh, situation this year is a lot different than it was last year, but, you know, this is the second year in a row you guys, you know, are on this stage and just, I mean, you don't look anything like you have all year. So I guess what, I mean, obviously, if you knew the answer, it'd be different, but, like, why do you think, um, you know, you guys just can't, can't perform at this stage, I guess? Well, that's a great question, and you're right. I wish I knew the answer to it. And, and I'll second guess myself. There's a few decisions I made this week. Let's <coughs> give the answer off. The rest time might have helped. Uh, completely different from last year. Last year we had a team where we had some kids who didn't want to be here, and they were kind of checked out a little bit. These kids wanted to be here. And uh, and like I said, I'll, I'll go to war with these kids. If they give us another chance, we'd go, we'd go play 10 minutes from now. Um, but at the same time, I think it comes down to you've got to be ready at game time. And um, I thought system-wise we're okay. Like I said, I wouldn't question, I wouldn't change many things we did in the game today. I really wouldn't. The question we got to ask ourselves is what could we have done to put these players in a better position to, to make some shots, to, to win a game? Um, but at the same time, it, this team won a regular season title. They won a conference tournament title. Anyone who's ever coached will tell you it's so hard to, to do both of those, especially in the Peach Belt Conference like we were this year. Uh, to maintain, and I just tell you this much, and, and this is where I've got to grow as a coach, I was mentally exhausted this week, and, and I felt I, I, I was drained. You, you get back, you go to bed at 3.30 Sunday night, you're there getting ready for your conference calls right here at hotels and everything Monday, and it just kind of never stops. And, and I think that's a question I've got to look at is what's, you know, what can you do to get yourself ready as a coach? What can you do to get them ready? Because I, I just, these kids are great kids. They're great players. They, they've won big games for us. This is, and you saw it tonight. They almost pulled off a miracle again tonight with their backs against the wall. These kids just don't quit. Um, so, you know, I, I'll spend a lot of the offseason questioning, what can I do to get them ready? I don't have the answer to it. Uh, I'll certainly spend a lot of time seeing what I can do to make them a better team. Historically, my teams typically don't lose in the first round of the tournament. We've had a very good record. Um, I don't know what my record is in the NCAA tournament. I'm pretty sure it's 500 or better. We've had a few Sweet 16s and Elite Eight, um, but every team's different. And uh, and these kids, we just didn't shoot the ball well tonight. And like I said, I, whether it comes down to, to my coaching or whether we're fatigued, I'll, I'll never know. But we'll certainly spend a lot of time this summer. We'll, we'll evaluate. We'll sit down with staff and see what we can do to be better if we're in this situation again. But. Last I'll say on that is, man, it's hard to be in this position. It's hard to do what these kids did to, to win 13 games in a row. We have to beat Clayton State, uh, who's one of the best teams in the region. We have to beat Columbus State, who's got a three-year home winning streak on their home floor. Uh, and we've done it with basically seven players playing in our lineup. So no regrets from this end. Yeah. Anyone else? If there's no further questions, this will conclude Landers Press Availability. Thank you.